Hello, this is Kenneth Clark. I'm going to show you vital steps on taping your seams. Um, you, you apply the mud with a five, five inch blade and then you, you get some uh, joint tape, which is mud tape, and um, you apply it to the wall. Uh, now, I've already got the tape on there. I'm going to touch it, hold it with one hand, and then drag it down. Once you get it started, you can let it go. And that pulls off the excess mud. See what I'm doing? Then you just uh, go over it a couple more times, just dragging it down, getting all the excess so it'll, it won't be a whole lot of sanding if you do it this way. So now I'm doing the corners. I just put mud on my 5-inch blade and down both sides of the corners. You notice I already had it in there and I'm just pulling it down a little. You don't want to pull it all the way off. You want, want, want it to stay on and make sure the whole entire corner is covered. It's uh, no, no uh, uh, empty spaces there because it'll create bubbles. So now I'm measuring. This is how you measure what's, how much tape you need just from the top to the bottom and then you just cut it off. Now I'm getting ready to show you how to crease the uh, the middle that that joint tape mud tape joint tape has a, a crease in the middle you just pull it in from top to bottom and now you're ready to stick it in the corner now your mud is ready you may you're gonna have to check to make sure there's no air pockets that means uh, not enough mud so it'll take a little bit more mud and I'm applying it right now drag it down a little bit now I'm inserting it in the top, start at the top, push it in a little bit, just barely do it, all the way from top to the bottom, and uh, just just barely touching it. Now, same way I drug the other seam down, I'm going to hold it at, with one hand and then pull the blade, put the blade next to it and just pull it down. Now. You got that one side done. Now I'm going to uh, drag the other side down. And this is how you do a corner. Um, so now I'm going to do another seam, which I already taped earlier. We're going to float the seams. Okay. Make sure you get a 10 inch blade. See how I got all that mud on there? Start from one end and just barely put a little pressure on it. See, I ran out of mud. You got to dip it again. It's not going to cover the whole one dip is not going to cover the whole wall so see I had to dip about three times before I got enough on there see there what I'm doing it that that 10 inch blade has a bow in it you gotta look at the bow I'm gonna show you coming up see I'm making sure I don't have no dry spots and uh, you wipe your blade off and um, you see where I'm, I was looking at the bow it's got just a slight bow and uh, so you pull it down, put a little pressure, pull it. And see, and it won't take off all the mud when you do that. You got to lay that trowel down, almost touching the wall with, your, with the back of your fingers. See there? And now to feather out the corner, the ends of the float, is you got to, I'm going to show you how to pull it so it'll touch the top corners. And... Uh, See, see my finger there? The top finger is, I'm putting a little pressure on that side of the trowel. That's how you flush out those ends. And you do the same way for the bottom. You just move your thumb, move, move your finger down on the bottom, and that'll keep you from doing a whole lot of sanding. And you're going to, and you're going to need roughly three applications. You're going to need a five inch knife. That's to start it, the taping. Then that's a 10 inch, and then my next application when that dries, I'll be a 12 inch blade, and you just go right over that. Some areas you're gonna need to to float it twice uh, because it's still kind of got a little bow in it. You can just keep floating it, but three times is, is the amount you need. Thank you.